You might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around, guys, because we apparently have a big asteroid headed our way. We have Aspen Gold responding to the woke activation. There are a bunch of video clips that I want to share with you. This is going to open up your third eye. I recently covered this very extensively, but apparently we had a brother who transformed himself into a sister. So now it's a she, it's yeah. a her. Very strong, very independent. And sister apparently won the Call of Duty series MVP. So he or she rather ends up annihilating all the the actual females i want to talk about it in a second but first of all check this out and like the video if you hate the wokeification that's happening in video games dislike the video if you love the woke games right now i i really hope gta 6 uh, doesn't become woke man uh, it's probably gonna be let's be real but hopefully they do not emasculate jason but first of all roll this don't even get me started on all the sexual harassment at blizzard they've got an infinite number of controversies and screw-ups yet they hope that we're all idiots so every time there's backlash against them they quickly virtue signal yeah, by pandering they... to certain groups in an attempt to mask their own incompetence. So they guess what they did when they the storyboard cancellation right? went public? The usual strategy. They, they announced character? a new hero the day after yeah, the story yeah. was published. A new DPS hero called Venture, with a special emphasis put on the aspect that it's gonna be free and that the character's gonna be non-binary yeah, and uses... <laughs> This is absolutely insane. You get a free day damn character. It's like one of the things, right, that Activision also did recently. When they removed that Nick Murray skin, they ended up having the, the BBC bundle, the friendly You know what I mean? Like, it, it's absolutely wild, bro. They, them pronouns. As time has passed, and we Fearless. know that as Blizzard went through various scandals over the years, that every time they faced one of those scandals, they either create a new diverse character or make them LGBT, or both. Or when yeah. they don't have a new character ready in time, they instead recreate an already existing one to be LGBT. We've seen that happen multiple times with characters like Tracer. You so know what? I'm changing my gender as well, bro. Like, uh, you, you know what? And, and I demand, as a schizzle axi, my pronouns are they, them. Yo, where's my representation at? I'm a strong, independent, you know, brown ass. Uh, motherfucker out there, Bruh. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I almost wanted to say lady, but I'm not. I just can't. It's simple. I'll just simply put, man. You try to milk a cow, yes, you're gonna get milk, okay? But try to then milk a bull. Try it, okay? Try to milk a bull. Brad, that second is gonna send you to another dimension, Kaji. Like, let's be real, bro. Like, we're just 76 of I can, bro. I In can. those cases, it's very obvious that those creative decisions were made only to virtue signal and to save face. Blizzard used to be a sign of quality. Now, whenever you see their name, you can get ready for garbage. The company that has 13,000 people on payroll, but only 6 developers. They've ruined my once favorite game of all time and made it so that I can't even go back to play what I paid for, cause yeah. Overwatch 1 was replaced with Overwatch Damn. 2. And yet Overwatch- To be honest, this is all true for me, but with like Call of Duty right now, man, they annihilated Call of Duty, bruh. Like hopefully the next Call of Duty game is good. What are the odds it's gonna be? One, if you believe it's gonna be good, two, if not, uh, if you, uh, yeah, like do you think it's copium? Maybe. Which 2 gets hammered more than any of its Rule 34 characters. No, honestly, the Rule 34 artists are single-handedly carrying the game. Oh man. But they are not your only garbage studio yeah, in town. Because how could we forget to talk about Sweet Baby Incorporated? The company that should be the biggest nemesis of anyone who cares about video games. Because they don't. They instead actively try to destroy them. They've ruined- now, I will actually keep it 100% with you guys, right? Like at the end of the day, it's the, the main thing is like objectively, like game needs to be good, right? If the game is good, then Sick is not gonna care that much. Obviously, it's still like, you know, you cannot defend the bull crap that's happening. Yeah, one game, two games out of ten games that are woke, okay, fair. You know, in two two games you wanna have like they them oh, fine, alright? It's alright. Uh, but but it's like every game is like that bro every game got the walk bullcrap ass uh ideologies identities uh every game has politics in it sickers want to just watch movies to escape sickers just want to play games to escape why every, every game don't need to have woke politics in it, dog? But uh, Spider-Man 2 is one of the games, right, that is considered to be a good game. Uh, obviously, that's subjective. Some, are, some of you are going to disagree. Some of you are going to agree. It, it's a good game, but you know what? At the end, or not even at the end, I mean, what am I even saying? Like, MJ, right? I, I, I think he's going to talk about MJ, which is facts, right? They gave her a testosterone shot, dog. <laughs> they gave her a testo, testosterone shot, bro. Like, it's sad, bro. Like, they, they turned her into they try to turn her into a man and uh like damn homie
countless Western studios already that used to have great reputations. Yet whenever they partnered with Sweet Baby Inc., their game ended up massively inferior in quality to their other games and yeah. pushed full of political nonsense. Sweet Baby robs developers of their creative freedom and forces them to include more diversity, to push some political side quests or dialogue into the game, or to make the female characters uglier, toned yeah. down, and more androgynous looking. Look at that, bro. Like, she looks so, like, so odd in the first Spider-Man game. I mean, she's always like the hottest chick in the spider-man movies but it's like in this one damn like what did they do to her like bruh like why y'all making females ugly like that in games you know it's like in one or two games you look at it and you're like okay whatever right but now it's like yes yeah, sweet baby ink got exposed right and you're looking at all the 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 the, the woke ass games that are coming out and mostly all of the woke ass games got ugly ass female characters damn man y'all y'all are doing dirty to the actual females bro this is like disrespectful to the real females that are out there, bruh. Like that's that uh, ge genuinely sad, bro. Like to avoid offending women and trans people, apparently. A logic where I still don't get how that's supposed to help women or trans people in any way. And yeah. if anything, is actually quite disrespectful and counterproductive. Women won't feel offended by attractive depictions of women in video games, and the same goes for trans women. I see it as more offense. Jo John's gonna be like, "Are you sure about that?" Have to portray them in an ugly way. <laughs> And anyone should be opposed to such business practices. I agree. Not just men, but women and trans people as well. And yet yeah. Sweet Baby doesn't see it that way. And that's one of the things that you can usually see whether a game was associated with Sweet Baby. When the female characters look ugly, cause they love to uglify them on purpose. Another upcoming AAA game that was now oh, discovered no, to be associated bro, with no. Sweet Baby Inc. is Unknown 9 Awakening. It's an upcoming game developed by Reflector Entertainment and published by Bandai Namco. And this is what's surprising. Bandai yeah. Namco is a Japanese company. Ah! Oh my god, bro, no! This is, you know, this is one of the things that I used to talk about and this was always like one of the, the strongest points. Whenever you wanted to win an argument, right, in this field, you were like, look at Japanese game studios, look at them, Japanese game studios, they would never do such a thing. They would never do such a thing and so far they're still like safe, you can still use the argument but, you know, you cannot like... You know what I mean, right? Because even they, they got Sweet Baby though, yay! Oh, oh, yay, they got Sweet Baby as well, man, with the Sweet Baby ink and all that woke bull crap. Even J Japanese games are not safe right now. Most of them are, but it's like, th the purge has started, basically. Which means that Sweet Baby Inc. is truly trying to increasingly sabotage the Japanese gaming industry as well. First yeah. they infiltrated Square Enix and that cooperation resulted in Forspoken. An off and, and Japanese people are people are so like respectful that they're like oh, the, the, the American people are going to be like yeah do this and we're like okay thank you we'll do it again we'll do it we'll do it we'll do it don't worry don't worry and they do it they do Bruh. it because they're respectful people but but like uh, you guys need to stop being respectful to all this woke bullcrap, bro. Like, otherwise society, society is gonna crumble. <laughs> society is gonna crumble. Awful game that neither looked nor felt like a Square Enix game. The main character, Frey, was an annoying black teenage girl from New York City with a horrible personality and way of talking that was put into a serious fantasy world. Something that didn't work on all fronts. The game flopped critically and financially. And on top of that, they ugly fight the actress that's playing Frey. The actress. Damn, like, you look at that. I mean, she fine as hell, bro. In real life, she fine as well. I'm, ju I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. We must stay focused, brothers. Don't just the pom pom. But listen, man, I, I see beauty. I appreciate. Simple as that. <laughs> And, and I'm, uh, yeah, I, I see, like, uh, he, he probably gonna say, like, the, the, the female character, this character in the video game is ugly as hell, yeah, right? Tris is called Ella Balinska and in reality looks quite attractive, yet they yeah. purposefully uglified her because yeah, of their stupid go. woke mindset and way of thinking. That's something that's typical sweet baby fashion, and it's something that's of course also the case in their newest game, Unknown 9 Awakening. The main character will of course once again be a woman of color, for which... Damn. Uh, and <sighs> Bandai Namco. Damn, she had a jawline. Look at that. It, 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 in real, in real, in real life, like jawline, pretty, pretty, pretty good, right? But in this one, like even Brock Lesnar don't have a jawline that big, bro. Like. <laughs> 
Like, look at that. That jawline tick, dog. Even Brock Lesnar having a hard time. Like, Brock Lesnar be like, bro, like, can a brother perhaps get a jawline this strong? What what kind of workout did you do today to get a jawline that sharp, though? You know, that jawline. Big. They cast Anya Shalotra, who once again doesn't look all that bad, yet whatever they did with her face in the game is ridiculous. She looks unrecognizable. She doesn't look bad, but she kinda bad though. This trend of ugly fang women is horrible okay. and extremely disrespectful to the actresses portraying- Bro, once you see it, you cannot unsee it, which is just genuinely sad. Like, yeah, right? Once you start this seeing trend it, like, holy crap, like, she looking soulless, bro. Holy crap, like what what kind of testosterone shot she got, bro? The ugly fang woman is horrible and extremely disrespectful to the actresses portraying those characters. Yeah, they cast yeah, good looking yeah. actors, yet uglify the female ones so bad that they don't even look anything like the actress. Both Forspoken, Unknown 9, and pretty much all other Sweet Baby associated games suffered from that. So that is why, becoming but, pretty widespread knowledge at this point. And Sweet Baby is running massive damage control for this game already. As soon as you go as far as to just mention Sweet Baby in a comment on the Unknown 9 community hub on Steam, your comment will get taken down and you will receive a permanent ban. As soon as you mention Sweet Baby Inc. or SBI negatively or Beloved. even neutrally, you're gone. Yet something that they're not banning are defenders of Sweet Baby, of even course. those that go as far as to insult others and make death threats. This of one course. wrote, SBI haters are obsessed. Stay mad. Imagine letting a consulting firm live rent free in your head. You can stay mad and complaining about an imaginary enemy. I am 100% buying this game. I made a lot of chats mad. Pro tip, get a girlfriend and do something useful oh. with your life. Huh? Also, turfs and transphobes deserve death. On top of that, Die. you have to be a complete loser. Yo, could you imagine like if any 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 of you said that, bro, you would be <laughs> And listen, we're not saying that. We agree. Like y'all are humans too. We agree though. Y'all are humans. I'm a human, you're a human, all of us are humans. We just have differences of opinion. Disagreeing is not harassment, okay? And all what we're saying here is that bro, like stop injecting the woke politics in games. Simple as that. One or two game, okay, fine, right? But not all the games. That's all what we're saying. But but obviously, like these seconds take it to the extreme, and that's fine, right? Like uh, having an opinion like that, strong, empowering, seven hours ago, that's fine. But could you imagine? Could you imagine like you guys said that or I said that, bro? You guys, if if, if any of you said that, bro, like you know the outcome, though. You know the outcome. This is just and. and Man, ah, bro, like, yeah, here we go, man. Like, User to spend your time looking at my right, profile man. for some ammo to attack me. Such comments full of insults and death threats are apparently permitted because they allowed, share yeah. the same political positions as Sweet Baby. I like how they go, SBI haters are so mad, but by the projection slash logic of the post, SBI hater haters are even madder. And their argument is always that if you don't like their woke nonsense, you can't attract a mate, or you must be some yeah. kind of bigot. These yeah. people are yeah. unwell. Classic. Not only is Unknown 9 Classic. banning most mentions of Sweet... They cannot think beyond that, you know what I mean? They, can, they are just in their bubble, in that strong, fearless, I wanna be, I wanna be strong today, I wanna be independent, I wanna be fearless. You know, yeah. And, and, and mind you, like, I also have, you know, switch sides here, so... Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, honey, I'm home. Um, my, my pronouns are now they, them as well. Let me just lower my IQ down to that level. And But yeah, bro, I, I demand more rights. I demand more rights as a brown... A strong independent <laughs> lady Bruh. who identify as they them i'm no longer skizzle i'm skizzle axie right now you know i demand more rights you know where is my representation at i i need my representation like the video so i can also get my strong independent fearless uh representation in video games here guys baby from the forums but when you look at the bottom right at the entry credits of the game you will find david bedard and kimball lea the co-founders of sweet baby inc working on it as brand content manager and story architect respectively kimball lea is a well-known person as she was for example the one who proudly explained the method she uses to force bosses at game studios to censor alter and diversify game projects she feels are problematic in her words terrify them, aka threaten them with the anger of the cancel culture mob. 
one of the founders of Sweet Babies working on the story of Unknown 9. The game is banning any mention of Sweet Baby from their community hub on Steam. And from what we've already seen, the game looks pretty bland and blurry and they've already uglified the main actress. So get ready for yet another Sweet Baby disaster. Man, it's like, called the Sweet Baby Kiss of Death. Recently, yeah, Sweet Baby Kiss of Death, absolutely. <laughs> what the hell is happening to gaming? Recently, Dra uh, Dragon's Dogma came out, right? And, and Sigas are saying it's good game on paper, but it's like, yeah, on PC it's just hell. And the biggest uh, objective bad n and negative point for that game is the, the, the crazy amount of microtransactions. I heard like $2 or something like that. Uh, if you want to edit your character later on in the game, because you cannot change your character. And understand it's a role-playing game. Okay, so role playing. Sega's love playing role playing game, and Sega's want to have their character. Understandably, that's that's why the game is called role playing game. That's why it's an RPG. But you cannot change your character. But you can change your gender. Though. You know what I'm saying? That's free though. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm actually joking around. I'm not sure. Maybe you can change your gender for free. And what are the odds that's actually true? I'm not sure about that one. But yes, yeah, Sega's are saying two dollars, two dollars per edit. There, and Sigus did not know about the amount of microtransaction bull squash that the game was gonna have till now, till the game went on, uh, till the game went, till the game went live. As soon as Sigus actually downloaded, preloaded, and started playing, <laughs> started playing, they were hit. <laughs> they were hit by the entire wall of microtransactions. It is sad. That it's for sad, a reason, because the company will destroy your game and potentially your company as well. What's especially shocking is that it's a- And then on top of the bull, a uh, microtransaction bull, you have to worry about all that war crap too. Bandai Namco game, and they are a Japanese company. So yeah. Sweet Baby tries to infiltrate that industry as well now. Crazy, they need bro. to be stopped from further engaging in the Japanese gaming they industry. Need to be stopped. I don't want to see them- Bro, you are gonna get stopped, bro. Suffering the same fate as we are here in the West. Cause Asia seems to be the last bastion of sanity for entertainment currently. But exactly. it's nice to see that people are coming together to expose those evil companies. Blizzard is getting exposed by gamers and big streamers like Asmund Gold, which is why even people that aren't even big into games... Yeah, I, I wanna actually show you this clip, right? Obviously we talked about it previously as well and earlier in the intro, yeah, brother changed uh, his gender, became a sister, uh, and then ends up annihilating all the actual natural born females with 8.96 KD, 4. <laughs> <laughs> 58 kitty, this is insane. Ends up winning Call of Duty series MVP. Maybe I gotta do that too, man. Competition kind of stiff. If you want to go like male versus male, kind of hard. But male versus female, when you have uh, they them pronouns, uh, it's easy though. So it's like easy peasy. But Asmund Gold exposes Blizzard as Overwatch implodes roll it. Of PVE content, we will have a complete story experience. And then they did the big announcement and they said you're going to get this much. With everything we've learned about what it takes to operate this game, at the Wait for it. you deserve, it's clear that we, we can't deliver on that original vision for PVE that was shown in 2019. This one going happen? forward though, rather than doing a big one-time PVE releasing, and we, we want you to be able to experience it more often and with more variety than we had originally announced and now they're saying we're not even gonna get this it's not even actually why am i saying we i haven't played this fucking game since it came out it's so sad to see what overwatch has become Esmond Gold has a long relationship with Blizzard, since he's a huge World of Warcraft player and I think the biggest streamer of that game on Twitch. So he oftentimes exposed them, attacked them whenever they screwed up things and criticized them for their bad games. Not just World of Warcraft, but also Diablo and now even Overwatch. As you will see, he continues to go over some interesting stuff. Man, gaming was not like this. <laughs> gaming was not like this 10 years ago, man. Holy crap, bro. Like, this is sad, bro. Like. Uh, uh, two years ago, I wasn't even talking about any of the bull crap. Two years ago, nobody ever s thought about talking about any of the b uh, bull crap that's happening in game. Yeah, sure, like it was happening like in other uh, fields, and yep, you you always have those channels. Quadring, for example, one of the biggest channel I would say that talks about the woke nonsense that's happening. Yeah, and he he was doing that for a while, right? Like he found his audience, and yeah, sure, whatever. But like in gaming, like. 
bro, like, I wasn't even making videos like that. You know, nobody in gaming sphere was kind of making, yeah, one or two YouTubers here and there, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. But, like, now it has <laughs> overtaken the entire industry, and now we're only getting started talking about it, and we're like, dog, you don't need that crap in every game, bro. Helldivers 2 is, like, 200 people, so they're gonna, if they're gonna make more of that stuff, they just laid off people that they're working on it. Oh, wow. So they just laid off the people that were working on the story missions? Most of the people laid off from the Overwatch team were Bruh. working on that pillar. Wow. Work on the campaign mission was currently held up in pursuit of a nebulous thing called Blizzard Quality. Blizzard Quality is a justification to essentially piss about forever and ever, redoing, redoing the, the same, same work over and over. The source said, some executive goes, hmm, but is it Blizzard Quality? It's always leadership or game directors deciding they need to spend extra time. So honestly, if they could have just made any kind of decisions, the game would have shipped years ago. And it's Bruh. like, I don't even know what the right option is. Based off of this logic, then Diablo 4 was Blizzard quality. Okay, well... So Overwatch 2... <laughs> Guys, I want to link you this video. In this video, like, Asmongold did get cancelled, and his response was absolutely wild. Check this video out. On the left, this is uh, happening, really happening, with GTA 6. I'm not sure if you got to see it or not. They're after GTA 6 as well, guys. Check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right